yo, welcome to it. It's the third episode of the Street Talk with Angel and Fanama Griza. And today we have a very special guest known to the world as Johnny Bass. You feel me? But I may know a couple of different names. We'll get to that. <laughs> yo, Johnny, what's good? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Thank you for having me out here, dog. For like, sure, this is man. crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Not, you don't even have me out here. You guys put that to my crib. So thank you for putting that to that, my that's crib. That's the dope thing about it because we were supposed to be elsewhere. Yeah. But we yeah. thought, hey, man, let's just pull up to you just be in your space just mm. see what's actually happening out let's here let's do it like that but i mean let's do it like that how, how's johnny doing right now dog a lot of exciting things are happening yeah we see the video on tv you out there you <laughs> are on tv your production credits are crazy also yeah, you yeah. have a brand new single out so mm. where's johnny's headspace right now um i mean to be honest with you i think man like I'm, I'm at a very good place and it's weird, right? What makes, what makes it weird? What makes it weird is I've never, I've never been, I've never been in this space before. Yeah, you feel me? Like I've been making music for a long time, but I've never been in this space before where like all these things are happening, and it's like. I mean, you don't know how to act. Like it's not that I don't know how to act, <laughs> man. But it's like I haven't fully processed it because yeah. I. Like, I'm still working towards more. So I haven't fully, like, processed it and just passed in it, like, oh, I'm actually doing good. Or, oh, I'm actually doing this. Yeah. It's like, I wake up in the morning and he will be the first nigga at my door. Like, yo, <laughs> we're doing this. I'm like, oh, oh, oh Zing, I'll be the first nigga. Like, yo, yeah. we're actually doing this next week. Oh, yeah. we're doing this. So it's like, I haven't, I haven't fully dived into into that shit where, where I've sat back and I've thought and let about it sink yo, in. like yo yo I'm actually yeah. doing it nah I, have, I don't think I've, I've done that yet before before we go any deeper we gotta give a huge shout out to Huey you feel me yeah magic man yeah shout, shout out to too. Huey he welcomed us too like oh, yeah. on, on some real nigga shit you feel me yeah. so big shout out to Huey magic man so the thing about it also is that like you don't wanna get caught slipping on top because you can get caught up in the hype on top of you're chilling 100%. with so and so this and mm. that is happening mm. so I really admire the fact that Jorge, you're still able to keep your focus and still know what, what it's all about on top yeah I think as well it's like I, I have a lot of I have a lot of genuine genuinely good people in my life right yeah. now you know um, from my big homies to just my homies and my little homies you know like they're not just they're not just checking me to check what they can get from me or whatever. They actually check on me to see how I'm doing. Like, yo, are you all right? I like, feel you. We can chop it up on some, like, you know, like, so I don't have, I don't have industry friends. You don't, don't have, have industry I friends? I don't have industry friends. And that's the, that's the thing. I don't have that's industry crazy. friends or anything like that. Yeah. I just have people that genuinely, that I feel like genuinely care about my well-being and where I'm you know, they they see where I'm supposed to go and sometimes also even like like get on my neck, like yo, hey <laughs> you're not go. doing this. Come yeah. on, you know you're supposed to be doing this because you're feel like you. you're this nigga, you're supposed to be growing, you're supposed to be getting bigger, you're supposed to be yeah. stop that. Let's go. Maybe let's do that. Let's you know, and cause cause also they understand the vision that I have for myself and even though they might have like different visions of where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing yeah. but they contribute so much into me growing because every time I feel like you know every time I get overwhelmed or anything like the people around me like just like they just give me the reassurance that I need and they don't even know it that's the crazy thing yeah. they don't even know they're doing that for me but they're doing it they're so doing it for like, real you know, the people I really appreciate everybody that's around me. Everybody. Yeah. Else. Shout out to all the real homies. I mean, you can give all them the a real. shout out for real. Like, like yo, they they know themselves. Side. They know themselves. They stay in themselves. <laughs> like, you know, he the Lord of the J. You know, that's my big yeah. homie. Yeah. Shout that's out to the Lord of the J. That's my big homie in real life. Yeah. Know? Um, yeah, so like all those people that are just looking out for me on that level are people That's that dope, I, man. But, I really appreciate. But um, I wanna I wanna take it back, right? Because yeah. you may know, know Johnny from throw the Zinga album. You feel me? You might not throw me in there, Johnny. You might know the music video. Johnny's out there with the A listers. Blake yeah. is in there. AKA is in there. Johnny's in there. You know Johnny's what I mean? Johnny's in there. You so feel me? <laughs> I, I wanna take it back to before all this started happening mm. you feel me 
to that young kid go I saw a, a, a picture you you put up on social media with the red with uh, uh, vest. I think oh yeah, the okay, yeah, with the vest way with ah. the and the and, and the pocket, <laughs> and I was like, who, who was I waving at? You feel me? Yeah. So I wanna I wanna take you back to those days. Like, yeah. what kind of kid were you growing up, and when do you discover hip hop? Yeah, I discovered hip hop at um. At a very young age, yeah. I, I loved hip hop when I was still in primary school. I just never knew I'd make hip hop music. You know, yeah. I just ne- I, not even just hip hop music. I just never thought I'd make music. You know, because I, I loved, I just loved music. I loved specific sounds. I loved all this. So, for me, like, and people always ask me the because I, I like, I rap, sing, and. Produce. People always ask me, yo, which one is your first love? Yeah, which. yeah. Like, I fell in love with everything. I just fell in love with music. Right? But which one so, came first, though? Um, writing came first. I started rapping first. Oh, yeah. Right? But then I couldn't find, I didn't like internet beats, so I just started making my own beats until That's I could dope. eventually rap on them. Because they were whack, you know? Yeah, but you, you know, still have them. Yeah. They, they were whack, but like... <laughs> Until I got to a point where I was just like making stuff that other people started appreciating. So, but like when you say the journey started, the journey started when I was in um, grade nine, grade ten. That's like ten years ago. This yeah, that's t- that's ten, right? Or that's eleven. I mean, I don't know how old you are. How old are you? No, I'm saying okay. Oh, yeah. how old are you? Okay, so I'm twenty. I'm twenty-seven right now. So, so it started it's when I was like ten. Yeah, probably. Yeah, like when 10, I was 11 sixteen years ago. Yeah, when yeah. I was sixteen, it started eleven years ago. Yeah, for sure. Eleven years ago. So. Yeah, that's when I started really. So this is like 2010. Yeah, 2010. Yeah, yeah 2010. Yeah, in 2010, because I remember I made my first join in 2010. Oh, how how yeah. how how was your first join? Who were you with on the join? <laughs> <laughs> Who were you working with at the time? Because um, you know, I'm asking you this also, ne? Because yeah. um, you know that my big homie, like he's the reason boo. I know you, Boo. One oh, yeah, time. Yeah. Shout out to Boo one time. Shout out to Boo. <laughs> that's my that's my dog. Yeah. That's my big homie too. Yeah. So. He he told me he's like yo, you know Johnny Naspanali Risi back in the day when like none of this started happening on time. Yeah. I'm like for real, Arya Nileva Fanata. He would come to your place. I don't know how true that is, but um, you, you put us on game. What was already did that actually happen? Yeah, and I never mentioned that to anybody. You feel me? I never mentioned that to anybody. Yeah, I was a young and as well, you know, um, in high school. I think. Reese had just started high school and they needed a place to record. They used to come with beats and just record. Like, you know, I didn't work with them on a... Yo, I'm gonna be your producer. I'm gonna oh, do yeah. this. I'm gonna do that. But they, they they came to my place a few times to record. So I met him when he was a young and yeah. I met IMP when he was a young and so you know like. But yeah, like I like I know those guys just based off of that interaction. For sure. Know? So that's why I ne- I never mention it because it's like I don't really know them now as like the niggas they are or whatever you yeah, know. And yeah. I'm not gonna try to reach and be like yo. <laughs> remember, Reese, remember, I was your nigga. <laughs> Back in the you day, <laughs> came to my crib and we recorded that joint. Hey man, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. And, and I knew from then that uh, he was he's. He was dope because he was dope. Like when I met him, he was dope, and he was a yeah. youngin. So I was like, "Yo, this youngin is actually dope." And that was like 2000. And, that was like around those times, 2010, when yeah, I like when I got my first ago. mic, my first like mixer yeah. thing, and my computer. That's around that time when they this dope. pulled out to the crib. And if there's anything I appreciate about Johnny Bass, it's the fact that already you've always been open to welcoming people into your space and letting them work with you yeah. and I think that's what makes you a dope producer too you're able to just step aside and be like yo it's about this guy now yeah. and we're gonna put something together for this guy yeah. a lot of people don't know how to do that <laughs> you know what I mean yeah cause like I think a lot of people as well don't understand the um, the being able to play a role that is not you being a superstar, because like, at, like I think in the age in the age that we live in, everybody wants to be the front man. You feel me? And it's it's, it's not gonna work out for everybody. You feel me? So yeah. it's like, um, at, at just at some point, I real like I realized, and beyond me realizing, it's also having conversations with the people around me. It's realizing that we all can't be the engine of the car. You know, the car needs the engine, it needs the tires, it needs the body, it needs the like whatever, yeah, it needs all the like, even clutch, it's not all the tools. Yeah. And so I guess we the engine, but otherwise we're forming ten different cars, and then we just have to find different elements of those cars elsewhere. Because if we're all engines, we can't put two engines in one car. It doesn't so, make sense. So it's like 
I always thought it was dope. Like if, like every time I feel like, okay, this like, oh, this nigga's got momentum, and he's like maybe close to me, or yeah. like, hey, he's he's really got some going. Like especially with the with the people that I was working with closely before I started producing for other people, like um, Huey Freshman Fox. You know, with Huey Freshman Fox, I always found it like in me that Joe, hey, I gotta put. Not that I was putting Johnny the Rapper aside, oh, yeah. but the element I was in was producer and engineer. And with the element that they they were in, and we had nobody else to play engineer and producer, I was yeah. like, I'm like, who else better to So me? So did this start like kind of a groovement when, when groovement productions was a yeah, thing? Yeah. Is, is this when you were like, okay, now yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to start being in this position? Yeah, I'm going to start playing that position. Because yeah. it's like... Um, when they got me, they got me, and Freshman is the one that hit me actually. Oh yeah, when so they, Freshman was at Groovement. Yeah, but before before, you, before I got to Groovement, oh, yeah. it was just Freshman and Jack, right? And then when they hit, when when Freshman hit me, he hit me on a, um, yo man, let's go to studio, let's go do one joint, two joints. I'm trying to work on a project, whatever. That's dope. So when I got them, just that environment opened me up to so much more than my bedroom. You know, because like, like, my mind was only produce, record, drop, and you were just produce, getting clouded record, in your space. And I'm yeah. in my room every day, you know, because you know I'm not I'm not the most social person you'll meet. For real, you know, yo, I, yeah. Johnny, yeah, Johnny's not social. He he's not the guy. I'm not the guy. For, <laughs> don't play with him. <laughs> I'm not the guy for it. So I'm not the most social guy you'll meet, but. Um, so when they when they hit me with that call, it got me out of my comfort. You know, it got me out of my comfort because for the first time, I went to an actual studio. Yeah. You know, I I spent so much time also at Twenty FM. You know, so it's, it was like because the guy that runs Groovement. Um, yeah, because the studios were also set up. They, they like me? next door. Yeah. yeah. So it was like it opened me up to so much that I couldn't. I couldn't stay like this. I couldn't stay focused on one thing. I had to I feel be like, you. okay, um, the world is bigger than just my bedroom. Yeah, the world is bigger than my bedroom. The yeah. world is bigger than me pressing those buttons and making those beats in my room and recording my song. I feel so you. I was like, okay, I need to. I need to think about it bigger. I need to try to produce for everybody. You know, yeah. there was there were a lot of producers around us and whatever. So it was like it was always a competition of. Um, for me, well then, it was a personal thing I took. Yeah. Like, yo, how many songs did I get on this guy's project? Yo, yeah. how many songs did I produce on this guy's project? Yeah. And I never told anybody. That's the crazy... I never told anybody that I wanted to produce more than everybody. But I always <laughs> wanted to. I always so wa- deep down, you were just like, yo, yeah. I want to I wanna be that nigga. Yeah, because it's like... Yeah. I rapped too, right? I rapped too. So it's like... But I, but I, but somehow I was just like, yo, I have to have more, cause like Looney, Looney Skips, Looney Skips is that for me was like and still is like the greatest producer, you know. Shout and out to Looney Skips, and he's yeah. the and he's the guy that produces for for Huey and yeah. produced majority of Huey's songs come yeah. from. Looney Looney Skips Yeah You feel me And at the time He had also just re- Produced a, a record For Zenga You know yeah. like So he was He was doing a thing And I And I had just Got out my bedroom yeah. <laughs> I just I got out my bedroom yeah. So when I was Like when we were just On Now we are good Is that good. a problem Is that a oh, right, Now cool. we are good So um, when 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 that just happened, I I realized that Joe, this guy's actually like lit because he like there's nothing he touched that wasn't dope. You know, I feel you. he had the Midas touch. When yeah. we talk about Midas touch, we talk about, about Louis. Louis. Yeah. That's the that's the guy with the Midas touch. Yeah, he does the magic. Yeah, and with most people's stuff, he had most of a hand in. Yeah. So for me, I was like, yo. I am trying to I am trying to surpass this level yeah. He's my homie He knows I fuck with him He knows that But he but knows I mean, Every time I hear something he makes I'm like yo I, I need to make something better than that <laughs> like, I need to make something better yeah, than that There's this mm. other meme right mm. Where it shows How other producers react When they hear a, a good beat You yeah. know me It's not like They're gonna be hyped up about it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's that mean face on top Cause you feel like I can make something better than this man. Nah, I got to nah, work nah, it. Nah, it's not even like that. Yeah. Like when 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 someone does something amazing, yeah, I'll react like it. 
I'll, I'll, be, I'll literally be like, oh my. Fuck. I like, feel you. This is crazy. Yeah. This is crazy. Because I remember, okay, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that. I, I. Anyway, <laughs> like when I hear, when, like every time I hear like something someone produced and yeah. it's like crazy, I literally, in my mind, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like how he did this, how he did that. Yeah. I won't try to beat his style, oh. but I'm gonna be like in, in with my own style because I'm trying to create my own mood. I'm trying to create my own world, my own planet with yeah. just music. So if this person can do this and it's in his own element, it's it would be trash for me to be, try to to beat you at your own game, bro. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. I'm gonna create my own lane <laughs> and make sure you like when yeah, when I you touch you. my lane, you need to be like, I you are the pops of the lane. Yeah, but listen to this. I feel you. you feel me? So yeah. like that's what I always try to do. And well. I think it also reflects because a lot of people have egos on top, mm. and I feel like with you, uh, it's not even about that. It's just about the craft and J. That's that's what you care most about. Yeah, I care, I care about the I care about the craft. That's that's facts. Yeah, not saying, not saying my ego ain't there. My oh ego, no, I mean like, sh- egos, Johnny knows who Johnny is. Yeah, I've, you like, feel me? But egos o- o- always clash and shit. They always like, do. You feel me? But yeah, I care I care yeah. more about like making the music yeah. more than anything. I feel you. So you 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 in groovement productions now. You know mm. things are moving swiftly. Mm-hmm. Projects are being put out. Also, music mm. is coming out. Yeah. But something happens that still baffles me, and I have to ask you this because I took it personal, <laughs> right? Mm. There's this joint, um, mm. thirteen hour drive, twenty hour drive, twenty hour drive. I yeah. keep saying thirteen, I don't, and oh, I remember 13? on social media. Yeah, yeah you, 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 also. I think you're thinking thirteen acres because they're on the same with Fox, man. Yeah, thirteen ah, acres. Man, that's Fox. the thing. Yeah, so twenty hour drive with freshmen, right? Mm. Uh, I remember you pulled up Coca C. Mm. At like midnight, oh, I was yeah, still a rapper yeah. back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> still went by also. Yeah. yeah, you see the tent, you feel me? Mm. So he pulled up Coca Sita and he took me to studio that day. You were freshman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we pulled up, you showed me a video, right? Yeah. Shot by Nigel Veggies, right? Yeah, shot by Nigel. Hey, Nigel has a lot of dope work out now. He's, he's the hey, gold. Nigel hey, is now, actually like, good He's, he's handling time. some other, you feel me? Spanele a lot of huge names. Yeah. Um, the video looked clean, mm. and it was just meant to be a single Elon Horwai Push, and I was also excited for it. And I it felt was like, my single. You feel me? It was my single. So what happened? Like, why why didn't um, things happen as planned as Angayat's video? You know, like, when you're, when, you're, when you're not working alone, sometimes things get very, they get very fuzzy, you know? Because yeah. when I got the, um, when I got the initial draft, I was like, yo, I, I, I like this. I like this. I even... You know, expressed it to Nigel that yo, I like this. But he was like, yo, we need to do reshoots because there's parts where like the lighting wasn't good, so you guys kind of look orange. You know, we need to do a few like day shots. It's just day shots because oh, the yeah. night shots were amazing. Yeah. You know, he's like, yo, we need to just do a few day shots and then the video's crisp and then we're gone. Yeah. I and at the time, the guy that the, 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 the guy that was handling our some of our management stuff was Psycho. Psycho wasn't happy with the video. And at that time, he funded the video. Oh, so you know, you can um, understand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can you call him that, but yeah. I wouldn't. He's my nigga. Yeah, I call. Yeah, I feel so, you, I feel you. <laughs> I, nice. It's not like so, that. Yeah. So that happened, and you know, I think Nigel also got too busy. You yeah. know, he got too busy to come back to do just a few reshoots, and I understood. That's why that never came out as a video, because I, I understood. I was like, okay. He's doing his thing. He's he's touring the work up He's doing all that. I can't pull him back in. You know? Yeah, I, under, I I totally understood what he was doing because I was supposed to have three videos on that project and I only had two because of that. Yeah, you know. So yeah, and as well there was like, you know, the guy that helped me with the video didn't like the video, so it was just that too many complications. Back and forth. Yeah, I got time. So I just decided that yo. There's a little bit too much going on for this video. Yeah. Maybe it's just in the stars for us not to do this video. Yeah. So let's just let it go. For real. And that's what happened. We just let it go. So was that the end of it? Kakuruko Groovement, there was that like summer. Nah, nah, you're nah, just nah, going to nah. move on to your own thing. When did that nah, come nah, about? Nah, nah, nah. Me, me, deciding to, me deciding to go do my own thing was... It's like me and Groovement never had like... Um, 
on paper agreement we were oh. just we we're just working together because you know my boys were there can i just mention something there okay. i don't know what's going on lately but i've been hearing that a lot like a lot of people a lot of artists especially young artists mm. keep saying we didn't sign anything but and you're like why is that we don't nah, like, like some our contracts not a thing anymore now nah, they, they are a thing but some agreements can be based off of a um I'll do a service for you and then you'll just help me with this. Okay, cool. Oh. You feel so? I was buttering my service as an yeah. engineer and a producer ah, and they yeah. were helping me with my artists. That's so true. it was like, it was a good it working relationship, yeah. you know? Yeah. But um, the only reason I decided to uh, obviously go my own way was because... Um, I don't know, it, 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 it just got to a point where I was just like, okay, um, I think there's certain things I can do for myself, yeah. you know, so I might not need um, the, the help that they, that they were giving me, I feel like, you. let me try to do it on, on my own, because I figured out a few things, and I mean, the, the, like, the year was hard, when I, when I decided to leave, yeah. the, the year was like, oh, oh, man, <laughs> and what, what year is this? Um, 20, 2020 beginning of the of the year before pandemic yeah before pandemic when yeah. I shot Ocean Drive oh yeah I shot yeah. Ocean Drive by myself I didn't shoot it with help of anybody else obviously my homies were there like Buddha King yeah. 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 Sa- yeah shout out, shout out to Saya Sa- he's, he's doing a lot dog. too he's now doing most hey. as well Sa- yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah that's when I decided to do my own thing that's when I decided to okay maybe let me do my own thing if it works out it doesn't if it does it does so yeah. what do I have to lose regardless it's 50-50 wherever I go it's 50-50 yeah but you didn't lose anything I feel like you actually gained more you, you feel me from the experience too you probably met some people that that you still roll with today yeah, 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 from that environment you know yeah. what I mean so but yo shout out to Sai and eh? Sai Creatives hey, he, he shot that video, yeah, okay. the only music video I ever did. You feel me? Um, Pio, mm. and the sound engineer knows about this. Mm. <laughs> I had a different name, but that's a story for another yeah. day. He shot a lot. He shot like he shot both. <laughs> my, I have two music videos, and he shot both of them. Um, I think the other one is far off. Far off. Yeah, yeah. He shot both of them. Yeah. Mm. Shout out to shout out to Sire, man. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, man, you move on from that, and then now you start doing your own thing on Frostan. Yeah. Um. When when does the the lot of the jig, the zinger connect come? Because obviously you've been working with people while in Hore are mutuals. Are mutuals with him, with him yeah. Mm-hmm. So when does the actual Johnny and Zinger link up happen? And that that happens so crazily. Like that story always like it always like messes me up when I say yeah. that. Because I had met Zinger before. It's not like I had, For sure. I had not met Zinger before. I had yeah. met Zinger before because, you know, um, I know Fox and I produce for Fox. Yeah. So I've met Zinger before and we've, yo, what's going on? You good? Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah. And yeah. it's always been like that. Never like, yo, we got to go to school. Yeah, but when whatever. does the, when does the, so the leap happen? Th- this happened weirdly in, in, t- in 2020. Um, when I was doing Bobby Roses. Oh, yeah. When I was doing Bobby Roses, I finished Bobby Roses. I get the verse from Huey, from Fuego Santana, hashtag deep. You know, even on the project, I was, the crazy thing is I was saying this is a rap. Like, I tried. You done with music? You feel me? Oh, this is, I, I don't this believe this. Rap. I, 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 no I way. promise you. What was, what was, what was happening at the time? Like the, pan, the pandemic just hit and there was just no money. Yeah. There was just no nothing. Nothing yeah. was going on, bro. Like, it was just like, I was stuck. Shit. You feel me? It felt yeah. like, yo, like just mentally, emotionally, I was just like all over the place, you know. And I'm, I'm not even at the crib. I'm at my sister's place, you know. I'm at my sister, because I was at the crib for a while making music and I was just like, yo, I'm going to lose my mind out here. Yeah. And my sister's like, yo, pull up. You know, we'll, we'll just chill, whatever. We'll go. Saval. Yes. Yeah, so hey, sh- shout out to sis. Shout out to, yo, to your sis. My sister. You can give a shout out to, to the her. Real, one my time. sister's the realest nigga I know. Yeah. My sister. Yeah. Lo- that's going to be my best groom when I get married. That's like, <laughs> she's going to be right beside me regardless hey. of what happens. That's my nigga. Shout out to life. you, sister. Shout out to you. Yeah. So I'm at my sister's place. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still making music. I'm still making beats every day because I go with my setup. I'm still making beats. I'm still doing all that. And then I, I set a date for Bobby Roses. And it's crazy because, like, 
the week I said the week I said a date is the week I was telling my sister and I was telling my sister I'm done with rap. Yeah. I'm done with rap. I'm done with music. I'm going to maybe focus on coding because I did a little bit of coding and now I'm just like yo, let me. You did coding at school. Yeah, like nah, not really. Like on the net, man. Like oh, you know I did university of YouTube. Like, university of real niggas. <laughs> You know, like I did that and I got an opportunity to go to uh, a school for that. So I was like, yeah. I was taking the opportunity, yeah. you know. So it was, yeah, that was the conversation, right? Yeah. I'm taking the opportunity to go back to school. Yeah. I'm focusing on my life. I'm I'm leaving this behind. Yeah. I'm leaving all of this behind. I quit. Zinger calls me like... A day after I have that conversation with my sister. A day. A day after. He's like, oh, and Fox hit me up first. He's Damn. like, oh, Zinga's asking for your number. Yeah. I'm like, all right, Chris, send him. He and then you're not even thinking I'm much not, of it I'm, at the I'm time because you've seen him before. Yeah. And, and beyond that, other niggas have said that. Like, yo, ah, whoever, you. whoever wants your number, must I pass it? I pass it. Yeah. And I never get the call. <laughs> you know, I, like, I used to get the call. It's a lot of, uh, wrote me, the one who's handling the visuals, who yeah. puts still a screenshot, or someone, who puts a screenshot, photo shoot, and all of that. And then he's like... And then he goes ghost. Yeah, he's like, okay. And then the guy's like, I'll get back to you. And then he's like, but then, we know you're going to get back to me. Let's go. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing. Yeah. People would always ask for my number. Ego would always hate me, like, yo... Um, whoever, whoever, just ask me for your tens. I'm like, oh, and for me, it's like maybe it's a big name, and I'm like, oh, really? Oh, yeah, damn, I give him. Yeah, and then that happened so often that when, when <laughs> that happened, I was just like, ah, <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> There's nothing of it. Yeah, that's crazy, man. There's nothing. Of I want to go, mom, but as I'm going for winning, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. But anyway, um, so Zinga's like, yo. How, how does Sunday sound? And it's maybe it's a Friday. I think it was a Friday when he said that. He's like, yeah. hey, how does Sunday sound? Uh, I just bought some uh, home studio equipment. I just want you to come set up. Maybe we'll just rock out one joint and I'll take you back. Yeah. I was like, all right, cool. Um, let's do that then. In my mind, I'm still thinking as a rap. Yeah. But, but I'm like, I right, don't. It's an opportunity to go work with Zinger. And that time, obviously, I'm nervous as hell because I ain't never worked with. You, it's never a been a one on one thing, yeah. I of feel, that yeah. So, um, he pulls up on the um, he pulls up on the Sunday at my sister's crib. My sister sees it, he's like, "Whoa, my brother's doing things." Oh yeah. So <laughs> he helps me pick up. He, he helps me pick up my computer. He I pulls take, up in in the whip. Yeah, in the whip game. Oh so man. I, I take my handles, put them in the whip, or driving down to PTA. Yeah. You know, I'm obviously nervous because it's like. Bro, like yeah, I feel it. It's a big, it's a big opportunity, but at For the same real. time, I felt like I, I had stopped, I quit. So yeah. if it doesn't work out, it's like it's you know, yeah, it's I feel like, you. And then I got there, we rocked out the first joint. I was nervous as hell the first day. We rocked out the first joint, and then I call, we go to bed. The next day. I wake up and next day I wake up but like we're supposed to we said two days, three days. So next day I thought maybe I was gonna dip or something. Yeah. And then he's like, yo, maybe let's do another like a couple more joints. Yeah. And then I stayed there, we did a couple more joints. And after we did like two joints, he's like, yo, Johnny, let's do this for real. <laughs> now he started feeling it now. Like, hey, the Johnny effect real. now. And I was like <laughs> and at that time, I'm still, you know, I'm still I'm still kind of clumsy because like he works at a at a very fast rate. So yeah. I'm still I'm still clumsy. I'm still trying to get a hold of his um, rhythm, you know. Oh yeah. But he's like, yo, is it like joint after do- after it's joint like after joint? joint. After tr- like literally when we wake up, we wake up to <laughs> and studio. Oh yeah. We wake up in the studio. Yeah. At dinner, he'll maybe try cook up something and he'll be like, Johnny, cook up something out there. Nah, the <laughs> so he's cooking you know? up. Food and or something, food and I'm up yeah, in the studio. So would go to that. Yeah. But then when he said, oh, "Johnny, let's do this for real," that made me realize, oh, God works in perfect timing. Cause yeah. like, I was literally done. That's crazy. I was literally done. So maybe that's the secret to making it. Well, if you're an upcoming artist, model, whatever, 
maybe you should just tell yourself what I quit and then <laughs> <laughs> a day after <laughs> something big is gonna That's happen. Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, man, if it's meant to be, it will be at the end of the day. It will I mean, happen. why you told God's timing is never wrong. I'm first time. It's the perfect timing. Yeah, you know, it's the perfect time. If it wasn't for that, I would have. That don't mean that Johnny wouldn't have been possible for that. For know? real. If God didn't show me that sign, yeah. if it wasn't for that sign, yeah. Uh, it was a rap, dog. Wow, for real, man. Rap, dog. Shout out to Johnny, dog. Like, rap. you really came up, man. <laughs> you really came up. Because uh, before we carry on with the story, man, mm. we're going to get to uh, the MT album placement and all that. We're going to get to that. Mm. But you, we were still talking about how, like, you coming up, Montar. Mm. Um, there was a point where Long Hore, you had a group before Groovement. I mean, Bo, I think his name is Zueli. I don't know if it was a group. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was, it was a group um, or a Nile. It wasn't a group. What was, what was, what was, what was they that? They were a group. I was, oh, yeah. I was not part of the group. Oh, yeah. You know, they were a group. It's like the lot of trail thing. Oh, yeah. You know, I was working closely with them. Yeah. But I was not in the actual thing. I feel you. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, that happened. Like I, I tried to do that, it didn't work out. At the Eesh. same time, I tried to do the Lord of Truth thing. Yeah, with that nigga. Yeah, and that didn't work out. But it's like it's no, it's no bad blood or anything. I feel you. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's he's doing his thing too, yeah, man. It's no, thing. it's no bad they, blood. They don't do anything. No. Hey, but that also broke my heart, dog. Like. Well, Dubai, you know, we, hey, Dubai, we had a lot Dubai of dope, was crazy. Yeah, we had a lot of dope handles, but sometimes, you know, egos get in the way. Yeah. And for me, that's like my, my biggest, like, no, no, like, yo, if your biggest priority is you and not the actual music. In the project, yeah. And what we trying to build. Maybe I gotta go my own way. Outside. And it was cool, because the conversation, <clears throat> the conversation that made me take a step back from from working with niggas like that was that there was a time I, I think we were having a conversation about yo how we split and co-op whatever 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 yeah and and someone said nah hey you guys go focus on your own shit or oh, and and that was niggas from one squad saying that okay oh, and there's something else they said they were like what was that shit they said so oh no no we had just gotten uh, some gig whatever and I came all the way from MP to do the gig with with the niggas yeah and they got paid and they blew the money basically how much how and much how I much I don't care how much it was yeah and the fact that I wasn't told is what pissed me off but oh like, shit I never so you thought it was a free gig yeah I thought it was a free gig niggas got guap shit right and then when I found out they got guap and yeah. I approached the nigga the nigga was like. I'm not gonna split this much money. Come on. <laughs> I was like, dog, it's not even about that. We could have spent it together. Now I gotta walk past the yeah. where, where, you, where you niggas chill and see you guys wilding out there with the guap that I performed for too. <laughs> and you don't know it's the guap. At least call, ah, at least call me to come rock it with you. You like, feel me? At least let's let's, let's. I don't let's even need a bubble. cut. I don't even need ah, a cut. Man. I don't want a cut. That's but anyway, up. that happened, and yeah. I was like, all right, maybe let me go do my own thing. But it's no bad blood. Like those are still the niggas, you it know. Is what it um, is. Chop it up with them, and yeah. they need some. They know they, they know my line. Yeah, it's just that sometimes, like, hey, business yar kawa tare, as as maji. Then I don't wanna say black people because it's gonna start a whole other convo. Yeah. But hey, business wise, ra kawa te, we can have the talent. But hey. Yeah, but the thing is, I think some people are just so used to exploiting people and taking advantage of people. Yeah. You know, like, and I think for me, that's the one thing I'll move away from. Yeah. Like, if I feel like I'm being exploited. Yeah. I won't even say bad, dog. I leave <laughs> and I'll go do my own thing. Go I mean, I leave and go do my Like, I, if I approach and you about it and you yeah. get weird, I'll just leave. I think that's the most powerful thing about being able to do everything. He can produce, he can sound engineer, he can rap. He's a mean rapper. I know that the recent single, I ain't sitting at Drowning, is a trip soul song, right? I was the, I was the softest. You feel me? <laughs> but he's a mean rapper. Let me tell you that. Don't play with Johnny on top. He's playing with me. Let it be known. <laughs> Let it be known. Let it, Let be, it be known, known. for real. Yeah. So, um, fast forward, worked with Zynga. Things are starting to open up. You know what I mean? MT was also featured on the Zynga album. On the Zynga album, yeah. 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 So, uh, how does the MT Logan placement come about? Um, that came about because of Lolly Native. Oh, shout out to Lolly Native. Yeah, that yeah. came about because of Lolly Native. Lolly Native came to the session with Zynga. 
Oh, L- like the, to, to the session where, where we were doing the collab joint. Yeah. Um. So MT pulled up to the crib. Yeah, MT pulled up to the crib to do the verse for that, and then. And you uh, were you I, were at the session. Yeah, I was at the session. Yeah. I was just engineering the session. Oh yeah. And then Lolly Native peered me, and he peered me before, I think two years prior to that, he peered me at um, Purple. Purple City Experience, which was Huey's gig. He beat me performing out there. Yeah. And like, oh, my nigga, yo, you actually nice. Hey, you actually nice with this shit. Yeah. So we go from from that conversation to exchanging numbers, whatever. And yeah. then at some point he's like, yo, send me a beat pack, lap, or let me see what I can do. And I sent him a beat pack and he, he responded to me, and this is after the whole session of oh, yeah. his album. Yeah. I sent him a beat pack and then he picks a beat. And he picks a beat that I didn't think he was gonna pick. The one you didn't like. Now, it's not that I didn't like it. I didn't think he was gonna pick that. Oh, one. like you didn't think it was fit for yeah, yeah, I think he, I, I, I didn't think he would like it. Yeah. I, I, I didn't think um Lolly would not because I was sending Lolly beats. I was not sending MT beats. Oh yeah, I, I feel you. Beats. Yeah. And then Lolly Native hits me up in the studio with the MT and he's like, yo, listen. And now I'm hearing that I'm on some other shit. I'm like, hey man, is this is this a video call? Yeah, it's a video call. Shit. I'm like, what's going on? In my mind, I'm like, what's going on? Maybe it's a it's a it's a lolly native featuring MT you know, joint, MT. yeah. And then a few like a month or so later, he's like, yo, we're making that the single. I'm like, what? For who? Hey, Joe, like, yo, for the login. I'm like, oh that's no, crazy. that's the crazy because like that's crazy. How we found out right before the single even came out. Mm. I think there was a checklist there, login. I'm at home, it's right? Mm. But then it changed. Mm. There was there was another one that there came out. There was the out. first one that came out. That yeah, didn't have the like, crash on it. I think, right? There was the first one that came out that didn't have that. Um, it, nah, but you you were still on the placement. Well, I was on the placement, but oh. I don't think the oh. song was La Crasha. I think it was something else. I don't know if I, don't know. I, I think know. maybe maybe the graphics guy messed like did a did a bad job yeah, on time. Maybe, maybe that's why they had to do the second <laughs> one. But there was the first one, mm. and then the second one came out. And then, obviously, Lakasha was decided to be one of the, the, the singles. main singles mm. before even the album came out. Yeah. And, and that's what, and that's what rocked me because I didn't even think. Yeah, you feel me? I didn't even think it would get to. Hey, it would get there. I was just that like, level. Yo. I, I didn't think it would get. I was like, yo, I'm building up. You know. Yeah. You know, um, my big homies are helping me structure my my like my own production career. That's yeah. How, that's how crazy I feel you. Yeah. Like, they're not thinking about themselves. They're just oh, like, no. Yo, yeah, you gotta do it this way, Johnny. You go, it this go, way. yeah. Like, oh, oh, this is what we do. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's take it to the top. That's really take dope, man. Because I remember when that song came out, hey, I was wilding on social media. You feel me? I, I was in there, either, like, bro. hey, man, it's really happening. Like in real time, in man. real time, in real time. Yo, it's crazy that you knew me five years ago, man. <laughs> it's wild, my it's G. Crazy, on yeah. It's wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty soon, we will get some money. I'm gonna enjoy things. I'm gonna enjoy the best. No, so. And I don't know the right way. And things will start happening. I'm gonna start. Yeah, that's really dope, man. So, what are you currently working on? Because you're always in the studio, you're always producing something. I'm first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come with a new single, Johnny is out. So, Dinta, you know, production wise and also as an artist, what are you cooking uh, up? Production wise, um, I worked on, you know, I work on a lot of Zinger stuff. So, obviously, yeah. we just put out Santu Santu. Y'all gotta go check out the video. Come on, I'm out there. Wallet. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, uh, besides of Santu Santu, I'm, I'm working on a few. I'm working on a few things, you know. Yeah. I'm working on a few things. Yeah. Um, expect some, obviously, new production by me in the next, in, in this month, actually. Oh, yeah. Just in this month, you know. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to just announce people's albums and stuff like that. <laughs> I done it. I feel you. Know? you. So, I'm not going to say much, but yo... We'll, we'll get him though let's let's leave it at that we'll get him and hear it from the horse's mouth on side you feel me yeah so um yeah so like there's yeah there's, there's just um a bunch of stuff I'm doing production wise you know and just as a musician myself yeah you know, and just as a musician myself I'm just reworking my formula just trying to refine it and make it better yeah but 
It'll be out there. Yeah, and I, li- I like the fact that you're not in a rush. You feel me? Like you're just taking your time with it, letting things flow. I think after you after you made the decision to quit, ne, mm. you were just like, you know what? From now on, I'ma let the universe yeah, do its thing. Let, like, I'm gonna let you speak cruise to control. Me. I'm gonna let you speak to me. Yeah. Because like when we force things, clearly they don't work. Clearly. Because I've tried it. Yeah. I've tried it. I've force fed people music for years. I've, you know. Drop songs on the didn't work. <sighs> Streamline. Yeah. And it's like it wasn't enough. Yeah. So there must be something I was either doing wrong or not paying attention to some details. So now I'm just trying to I'm trying to learn as much as I can. As much as I'm like people see think I'm yeah, yeah, Johnny has figured it out. Go tired, okay. I'm literally in these rooms learning. I'm yeah. literally like chilling in these rooms. Like reading, like reading people, just reading I situations, you. reactions, you know, actions. And that's where the longevity comes from, you yeah, feel me? From you being feel. in the studio, not out there more Insta, shining because y- you produced the number one album. Yeah. And it's like, also, trying to flex too much. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not the nigga to snap. Like, I'm like, I'm the last nigga in the universe that'll take out my phone. <laughs> I'm sitting with my eyes. Yeah, like it, I'll be the last <laughs> nigga in the universe to do that. Yeah. Because what's crazy for me is I've like I've 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 seen a lot of these people before because I used to go to concerts. I feel you. You know, like I haven't met them, but I've seen You've them. You've seen them, in, yeah. And for me to not be in a distance anymore and to be right closer, here. yeah. So, but do, do you feel like when? When people meet their idols ne, and they ask for pictures, do you think it takes away from us possibly working together in in, in a sense? Um, does it? Nah, I don't think it does. You know, yeah. I don't think it does. It's just the, just the way I see things. It's like... Um, working. Does it seem like gonna, when you're doing it for the cloud now? No, no, it's not even about the cloud thing. I believe I'm going to see you again. So oh. I need to take a picture. Oh. You feel me? That's dope. Yeah, I believe That's I'm going to be in this room again. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. Like, if I'm in a room with whoever and like they're the greatest, obviously I'm me. I'm not going to try to be someone else and not be the hyper nigga. <laughs> I'm me. I'm still yeah. going to be like, calm like whatever that's dope it's cool I like yeah. I appreciate I'll, I'll tell you like yo hey my nigga you know I was in high school when you were bumping you, you were yeah that. I was in high school yeah I never thought you'd be sitting right next to me yeah and would be doing this yeah if I'll say stuff like that like I'll I'll tell them how much they've influenced me or whatever for real but the last thing I'll do is take a snap yeah because I believe I'll be back in the room and, you know, and, and, I'll be and back in the room and I've been going back to these rooms so yeah. that's what makes it even that means my theory is right yeah that's the you type feel? of self-belief you feel me but yo mm. we hear some crazy sounds that's why you don't have to be crazy but Johnny has leveled up now like how are you doing it? 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 I'm really excited to see Hore going forward with Lira Halaye because you just keep unlocking the level let's say the Pia on Tsar just when we think Johnny's doing this Johnny re-ups on us with, with, with something else you feel me I surprised myself too man. Like, yeah. I wouldn't lie to you Some, like you must, you must ask the, the nigga I live with yeah. he'll explain it to you <laughs> ask him like, I'll surprise myself I'll even be like damn yeah. we actually did that yesterday yeah That's dope, That's man. Yeah, and I, just wait, wait on the music. We learn all those on tar. Then you will understand what we're highlighting. But yeah, man. Uh, any any shout outs, Bailey out there, and out there. Oh, my nigga. Happy Bailey famous. So now the Insta account, the promo promo Bailey, hey, promo Bailey. I'm ready to follow us. I am, I am, I am on a real level. Yeah, my dog. Because um, funny you say that. I saw a joke on social media that goes, "How great I'm being." She named it Slick. So that you can say, "Inja ya, you feel you feel." Hey yo, hey yo, it wouldn't be right if we wrap this up without asking real quick. Should we expect something between when I listen? Because I saw him in your comment section there with the fire emojis. Yeah. Should we? Should we expect a young something? Um. I mean, Slick is my big homie, bro. Yeah. Slick is my big homie. Like, I mean, like, anything is possible. You know, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and say, no. 
Because that's my big homie. Hey, happy you just gave me a, a, a proper rapper's aunt, Sayong. Wow. I want to know if there's something already <laughs> brewing, Journey. Nah, 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 come on. That's my big homie. Like, anything could happen. Yeah. You know, anything could happen. It could happen today. It could happen tomorrow. Yeah. It could happen in five years. I don't know. But, yeah. like, that's... Like that's my that's, like I look up to that nigga on a high level. Hey man, you must understand he's done a lot. You he's feel done me? a lot, and he's still doing a lot too. Else. Yeah. Now he's even stepping to other things now. He's Cody other OFC, roles. you know he's what I mean? Other roles. And that's 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 what I like seeing too, because mm. niggas get into this and forget Hore, you still need to elevate and find, you feel, find other, other things on top. You know, it's not even about the revenues, just find, yeah. find other roles you that you could possibly play. Really play. Well. Yeah. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Me being able to step into other roles and play those roles well so the engine can move is crazy yeah. because if I decided that I was going to stay a rapper I don't think I, I would have been able to grow and elevate not just as a musician but just a, as a person as well Yeah, you feel me I, I don't think you. I would have been able to transition yeah it wouldn't have been that way transition yeah. 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 so seeing Seeing um, Slick do that, because nah, I wasn't there when that was happening. Yeah. I wasn't there. I, I hadn't met Slick in real life. I just recently met DJ Slick in real life. Yeah. You know, seeing that happen was... Pff, seeing that happen was crazy, because like, it's possible. You could literally go from producer or DJ to record exec. Because you have a good year, yeah. And because you're just business minded and you're yeah. moving right, yeah. You can literally elevate. Like it's all possible. Yeah, like everything is literally. Possible. Hey, now I'm getting ideas now. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you, you yourself are your only limitation. Yeah, but also sometimes you need to not rush things. You need to do things at at you know. A at a good time, piece, yeah. at a good time, because like Contact. I always get like backlash for not releasing my own music. I always get backlash. Like I, I, I recently saw someone talk about yo, Zinga is using you, and I've and, and nothing has ever pissed me off so much. It was that on social media? It, of course, it's social media. Ah you know? But no, nothing has ever and and I didn't even comment. That's, that's on fucked the, up. The handle, cause yeah. It's like, like you're naive if you're if you if you if you're someone from the outside looking in and you're looking at it, yeah. it might look however you want it to look and I don't I really don't give a fuck how you see yeah. it, right but just on on an opportunity level and on a growth level yeah there's just so much people don't see behind the the closed doors or what true yeah how you know how how people act and interact with you behind yeah. closed doors true when so, when that thing is off. A lot of shit is different. Trust me. A lot me. of shit is different. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, for me, like I, I truly understand. I don't know, like obviously I haven't done everything I want to do. So yeah. I don't, I don't know what it takes, but I'm, I'm learning as the day goes by. I'm learning every day. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. That's the dope thing about it, Joe. You still have a long, so, a long journey. It's you feel a me? Long journey man still have it's a long journey. more things to achieve man seven, like is it seven or six yeah like six years ago i released andrew zill was that six years ago six, uh, seven years ago i released six. gold ones hey happy i was still in high school bumping it that hey, that, is like that yo crazy? it's is crazy. That crazy that's the wild that's thing crazy. like you've been at it and that's, that's the one thing along i respect the most on sir mm. seeing it happen from a distance also mm. with every release with every move over on sir mm. that's why like I felt it was necessary for you to 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 pull up and have this convo way in on Yeah, because even with the research, like when I was putting together my things over there, get research because mm. I mean it's required. But I already knew I didn't have to yeah, yeah, to go to yeah. Google and be like Johnny Besigemang <laughs> or you know what I mean. Uh. I saw the journey and I'm I'm keen to see what's gonna happen going forward. I want. Yeah, it's, it's been a it's been a rocky journey, but hopefully everything from here is gonna be beautiful. Yeah, I know everything is gonna be beautiful for now. sure. Yeah. And you know we're not gonna end this without asking. Mm, what are you gonna ask, my nigga? Happy, I'm listening to to to, to the song drowning. Ne? Oh yeah, I cool. It's a late night. Kichi mm. tida listening to the song, mm. and there's a voice note in the song. Can you share what you want voice note? Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, come on, bro. We just have to. Yeah, okay, I get it. But, like, okay, can you explain <laughs> the story first? Let me explain the story first. Okay. And when I made that song, I made that song just after... You know, Cyril pull us back on the lockdown. Yeah. was kind of open and he put us back in. So I was like, oh, damn. Yeah. Like in the crib. I, so I'm doing a little bit of studio hopping. I'm going to K-Lib. I'm going to k Yeah. Shout out to K-So. Hey, shout K-Soul, out to K-So. Yeah. One of the greatest producers in the country. Yeah. Up, go, go get your shit out. Pelly stand up. You know, Pelly stand up. Yeah. Hey, hey I forgot his section. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, Mara Pelly stand up. Bansuara. Greatest producer, sound engineer you'll probably get in the West. That's that nigga. For sure. So, what was I saying? Oh, that's that's the nigga I co-produced the song with. Yeah, yeah Drowning, yeah. yeah. Drowning. So, um, when I was writing that song, I was writing that song from a place of frustration. Yeah. Of, you know, um, because I, 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 like the conversations I have with the people around me is about like what we're trying to do, whatever. Yeah. And then it... It just hits and limits what we can do, and we can only do it on a smaller scale. I feel and, you. You know, we obviously have these big dreams of the things we want to achieve. Yeah. And because people think it's about a girl, <laughs> it's not about a oh, girl. It's, it's not about a girl. No, 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 not really. Johnny, really. it's not about a girl. Johnny. <laughs> Ain't been outside for a while. I've been trapped okay, I mean, in the house trying to figure this, this shit out. out. Yeah, can't yeah. even the, write. The only thing that has a female handle is just the fact that I'm saying, "Baby, I've been drowning." Oh. There's nobody around me. And the girl. I just need a little guidance. You, you know, feel me? It's like it's like it's like you're going through something and you need someone. Who's that someone? Yeah, I need. Who do you need? Obviously, I need my I need my mommy to have my back. Like obviously, like every other thing doesn't like it's Dude. cool. But you know how cool it is to have. You know how cool it is to have a girl that's like right next to you cheering you on and I'm not talking about yeah. every other girl in the world I'm talking about the girl that you want yeah. on your side I not, feel you. not the girl that's just there yeah. the girl that you want to be there yeah. and she's actually there Johnny speed is hugging the music is working out the relationships are working out you got a new crib bro I cannot know <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No, no. No, no. But what, what would you say? Like, what has changed Mo Pilumba that has allowed you to acquire all these things? It's prayer, dog. Yeah. It's prayer, dog. Like, it's the one thing I learned. I, I, I learned to do in the past. Yeah. It's one thing, like involving God in everything that I want to do. Yeah. You know, because I wasn't doing that in the past. Yeah. You know, I. I was on my own shit. I thought like, yo, this is my own power. <laughs> you know? I feel and in, you, yeah. In all honesty, I don't. Yeah. I don't. And I'm on a line and say it's the hard work. The hard work, yes, the hard work plays its role. For real. You know? But what God does for you is way bigger than what you can do for yourself. Yeah. You feel me? So, I feel you. Hey, Jone, I don't know why it's not cool to pray. You feel me? Praying is cool as hell. Because, I mean... Praying is cool as hell. Like, I, I wish we all saw it that way, man. Like, we should make it cool to pray. Like, it shouldn't be a thing. Yeah. How, how it should yeah, be like, a constant thing. I think with everything, bro, like, yeah. I believe if you involve God in everything that you're doing. Yeah. Like, if you're about to go on a serious mission and you're like, yo, God, I'm going on this mission. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to work out or not, but, like, this is what I'm trying to do. It's what I'm trying to do. Involve him. Let him be a part of it. When you go, he's going to be a part of it. For real. You know? Yeah. Obviously, I'm not talking about who your high thing. But I'm <laughs> but talking about... Let me tell you, yeah. they pray. They pray. Yeah, hey, before they go to a high thing. And it's, it's an ironic thing also, because... Like dog, you about to go commit a crime, yeah, but, but you pray. Like, <laughs> involving a hey, big man upstairs is the most important thing you'll do for your for your life. Yeah, just in any in any aspect of it. Yeah, in any aspect of it, like pray for your family, my nigga. Pray for, for real. Pray for your relationships. Respect. Yeah, pray for your friends. Pray for your career. Yeah. Tell Respect. God what you want. Yeah. And Respect. go for it. Because literally, all God can do for you is say yes. And all you got to do is go get it. 
That's it. Yeah, because God is definitely gonna. God is not gonna be like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, God is literally yeah. gonna say yes. Okay. God is on your side. Now it's, it's up to you to go get it because you yeah. can't sit and get it. You exactly. Get yeah. It. You have to pray while doing the work on so That's that the big bad they can all come together. To For real. Yeah. XA, get Johnny Bass. If you didn't know the man, now you do. Producer, rapper, slash singer, sound engineer. He's doing a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if we add to the bio that's all yeah, we're but definitely adding something else in the next year yeah for definitely. sure so where can we find you more social media yada? um ah Drew at Johnny Bass everywhere Johnny Bass B-A-S-Z if you guys still think it's B-A-S-S for some reason I don't know why <laughs> Johnny Bass on Twitter Instagram Facebook yeah YouTube yeah hey, my, my YouTube might be going by my government but nah it's Johnny Bass go search Johnny Bass you'll find it you'll find it for sure and make sure Lue, now, if you are an upcoming artist watching this video you can hit him up for beats on first time he got nice beat packs make sure Horwa Motara does so that he can take your career to the next level let's do it the right way yeah let's do it the right way Except it's been a dope chat the street talk with him Fana Magri Live on Wow FM. Make sure what I, what I subscribe. But we're not so the the face uh, the YouTube page actually. Hey, is Wow FM. Hit us up on the Facebook page Wow FM. Twitter at Wow double underscore FM. You can also hit us up on our Instagram page. Hit us up on follow at Wow FM underscore. From when I'm from Namagriza, get a one episode to him. We go for a standard.